What's up ladies and gentlemen, Alpha Joe here. And I wanted to do this video for the longest man because I did a video about Rob Deerdeck and people always said the same damn thing over and over again like a broken record. And you'll see a bunch of celebrities and a bunch of people who was convicted of murder and people who committed suicide after killing people. And you're probably saying, what does killers have to do with, with anything with celebrities? Well, there's one thing that celebrities and murderers got in common. They got big followings. It's like, what? They got big supporters. Celebrities and people who kill, rape, molest, have big followings. Because the reason why I say this, a friend of mine, say, uh, a sadistic, my friend sadistic now this is funny you see James Holmes and one day she showed me a, a page a tumblr page and I actually did a video about it about how he's got a big following he's got a there's people making fan pages for James Holmes like they calling themselves homies h-o-l-m-i-e Yes, homies and it's just like the same thing with the celebrity fans will actually sit there and make fan pages of the celebrity like Rob Deerdeck same with George Zimmerman same with Jane same with Jacob Roberts same with Adam Lenz, Lenzar Lindsay same with Kim Kardashian same with Jeffrey Dahmers same with Lady Gaga same with Charles Manson same with Rihanna they have big followings and that's one thing this was wrong with people I sit there and I and I try to try, try to figure out try to understand like why would people be so obsessed with celebrities and people who kill? Like, one thing is, George Zimmerman kills himself, 17 year old. And the only thing the 17 year old had on him was a can of, uh, a can of, a bottle of iced tea and some Skittles. James Holmes goes into a theater and shoots up people, killing half, injuring others. Jacob Roberts goes into a mall in Oregon, kills two adults and injuring a 15 year old and killing himself. Adam Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay kills his mother, kills 20 kids, killing six adults and killing himself. Jeff Dahmers, Jeffrey Dahmers killing 10 people or 12 people cutting them up in his house and leaving them everywhere keeping body parts in refrigerators and other parts of his house Charles Manson convinced convinced several people actually several women to kill for him but he didn't kill nobody and he ended up in prison life in prison and all these peoples, all these murderers, end up getting followers out the ass. Followers out there, just like a celebrity, just like Kim Kardashian, big following. And every day, man, I wonder why is these people getting such a big follower, followers, and groups of people loving them so much. Like I said, I did the video about Rob Deerdeck talking about he, he builds skate parts and he builds skate parts and all this and that and I said he, building skate parts doesn't do nothing it doesn't help people it doesn't help people pay their bills it doesn't help them help put kids through college it doesn't help them stop it doesn't help them get away from gangs and actually they go into gangs you gotta think about the pros and the cons about this because you build a skate park you gotta think about the pros and cons. Like, with kids join it, 
where kids enjoy the skate park or where kids join the game, which is, you got to look at both sides. Kids will get bored of a skate park and will join something else. And I actually said that, but it's but it's like this with me with Rob Deerdeck. It doesn't matter if he builds a skate park. It's not helping no one. I've had people say, well, he donated money. Where did you read that? If you read it off the internet, you read it from a newspaper, a magazine, the tabloids, or found out on the media from the media, then you're being fed lies. Everybody knows you cannot believe everything you read in the newspaper, in a magazine, or in a tabloids, or what the news put out, or what's on the internet, because they are lies. There's nothing truthful about where the information has come from, from the media. You believe everything that the media says that people, see when you believe in the lies, the lies become true. So when people started sitting up there, oh, he donated money. Where did you find out? Was you there when he signed the check and gave it to the donation company? To the people that he was donating the money to? No, you wasn't there. So you really can't sit there and say he donated money because you was not there. So you can sit there and say, oh, I read it off the magazine. Oh, I read it from the town. Oh, I read it off the internet because they lie more than ever. And you believed it because what they say. It's the same as when Kim Kardashian says, I'm pregnant. It's awfully funny. She says this when she shacks up with Kanye West, but every other black celebrity that she's been with, she never said that. It's awfully funny when she came to Kanye. That's when she wanted to say, I'm pregnant. It's awfully funny. It's awfully funny. But y'all go sit up and say, oh, what about that basketball player she was married to? He's biracial, damn it. He's half black. But you can't believe what a celebrity says. Actors, reality show uh, celebrities, because they're act, uh, trained to lie to you. You probably go somewhere and say, why are you putting down the celebrities? Because half of them are such dumbass motherfuckers on the face of this earth. I'm going to say this, what, what, like I said in a few videos, this what, this what got me, what Whoopi Goldberg said, and I stick to it, man. I give her more fucking respect than any other person on earth. I give her respect for what she said. She said it on The View live. She said it. She said the people, which she means when she say people, she means the middle class. Us, the nine to five, the people who works for minimum wage. She says the people, that's us, don't work for her. She works for us. That term is actually more true than any other actor had said and comedian there's been comedians that actually told more truth than any other when Whoopi Goldberg said that it gave me it made me look at her a different light it made me respect her more as a woman and as a comedian and as an actress because you couldn't hear hear something like that from another celebrity even if they, you would never hear it from Kim Kardashian you never hear it from Lady Gaga you never hear it from Rihanna you never hear it from Chris Brown, you will never hear from Rob Deerdeck. But you have celebrities that will actually say this because they know it's true. Roseanne got in a fucking argument with Ted Nugent when the election was coming, when the election was starting. She was Roseanne was running for president. Look at I'm telling the truth. She had it on her Twitter, she was running. She was on a ballot. No shit. And she got in an argument with Ted Nugent. I think it was on Pierce Morgan. And she was sitting there arguing with him. Saying well rich needs to pay more. The middle class cannot keep us up all the time. But Ted Nugent wanted them to keep. keep uh, wanted the middle class to keep them up. 
But it's like this, man. If Roseanne can, is sitting there saying this and really believes in it, that the middle that the middle class needs a break. Now, there's something like to me when you hear celebrities say, hear half the celebrities say that. That tells you what. That they are tired of what's going on now. That we need to, that the celebrity needs to step up and do do uh, step up and hold their own. Like she means, like they need to pull their own weight. It's besides letting all the middle class people pay, pull pull their weight. Like because Rose, I think Roseanne and Whoopi Goldberg and Penn, uh, Sean Penn, Sean Penn. You see him in I Am Sam. I think it was I, I Am Sam when he played a retarded guy raising a child on his own. Is it living in Africa giving his money that he earned from movies and TV shows? Giving it to the people in Africa rebuilding cities. Building cities. And you tell and and I see that man. I say like, only a motherfucking celebrity that got more fucking common sense would do shit like that. And like I said, Roseanne, Whoopi Goldberg, Sean Penn are three celebrities that actually got off their fucking asses and did something, and actually got a fucking got common sense and intelligence and, and sits there and tit and things that celebrities don't need. Celebrity does not. Celebrities don't need to rely on the middle class to pay the taxes for them. That the what they what they think is that the famous people, the celebrities and rich, needs to start pulling their own way instead of relying on the middle class. But I'm sitting up here. Well, I'm getting off topic about what I'm really trying to say. Is it's like why take up for people that commits crimes? and celebrities that lie to your face like so to me I look at it as like people are supporting people who murder kids and molest them and rape them and and people uh, uh, and people support celebrities that build skate parks and then donate a fucking dime to nobody. What kind of shit is that? Everybody keeps taking up for celebrity. Oh, they did this today. You read it from the media, man. You got that bullshit from the media. Why is that everybody want to take up for the celebrities that, oh, oh, this and that, this and that, oh, this, 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 this and that. Was you there when they was doing this? Was you fucking there when they was doing this? Fuck no. Oh, Rob Deerdeck was paid. Ugh, it's like this. When Rob Deerdeck has to pay people. I did a video. Uh, say fuck. Uh, it was a video I did about Rob Deerdeck. And I mentioned Big Black, and there was a link I posted in that uh, video description video, in the description in that video where <laughs> Big Black was outing, outing Rob, and all people said was Big Black is another bl angry black man. The man has every right to be mad because he's getting less paid than any other person when he he getting less paid than Rob less paid than Drama less paid than Big Cat less paid than Chelsea West Coast and I don't think it's funny for a white girl to have a name like Chelsea West Coast come on now man you, for real for real Chelsea West Coast, West Coast come on now that sounds like a porn movie Chelsea West Coast there's actually a porno company like that. It's called West Coast. And for her to carry on that part, of, that West Coast part in her name, she should have thought twice. For real, it does. It does sound like she works for the com porno company. You know. But like I was saying, Big Black, but people said that Big Black was 
nothing but another angry black, black man like I said the reason why is because he did all this shit for Rob and I looked at it I'm not trying to turn it into a, race, into a racist thing but it looks to me when I heard that video heard that audio and that video about what Big Black had to say and what he was saying about Rob it sounds like he's saying that Big, the Big Black to him that he was just another field nigga to rob. He was just another field nigga to rob. And this is before he even had the fantasy factory. That he was he wanted to downplay him. He wanted every he wanted to downplay him and all this and that because one thing is when Rob had that Robin Big show there was there was two stars Robin Big I would have thought they got equal checks but no they got Rob got paid more than Big Black when Fantasy Factory came out what happened he got still got paid less than everybody when Rob left, when Big Black left, Rob was upset because he didn't have his what his field nigga. He didn't have his field nigga. He didn't have any. He didn't have Big Black to show dance, sing show tunes, and all this and that for him. But you can sit and say, "Oh, what about what about drama, Big Cat?" Same thing. Big Cat and Drama is nothing but Phil Niggas for Rob. Same with Chelsea West Coast. Same with that what's still old, still old that fucker that does the ridiculous do do that whatever he does with it whatever. But like but I like still I'm getting off topic. I'm saying how can you support certain people? in the world and they didn't do like this like for real why would you support celebrities that doesn't do a damn thing for you you can sit there oh they work hard for that money no you worked hard for your fucking money but you paid them to entertain you how is that working hard singing is not working hard sitting there building houses is working hard Sitting there cooking for people is hard working. Sitting there working on cars, being a mechanic, that's that's working hard. Shit like kid that little nine to five minimum wage, that's that's hard work. Singing, dancing, acting, that ain't shit to, that ain't shit. But these people still get a fan base I still can't understand. Same with people who kill, rape, molest And so on and so forth. They got they get fan bases just as well as a <laughs> just as well as a celebrity. And it still it makes me question that these people have the same amount have the same amount of people supporting them. You can sit there and say, Well Joe, you don't know what you're talking about. Joe, you don't know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about, and it's the truth. I'm not gonna lie and deny it. That's all it is to people, man. That's all it is. Commit like celebrities and murderers have one thing in common is a big following. People love that shit. If you hear about somebody killing somebody, they eat that shit up. They eat that shit up. Now you look at this. When Lindsay Lohan went got in trouble and got what was it uh got uh, what was it a community service everybody was eating that shit up everybody was eating that shit up and don't you know that over that time when she, when she stayed in the news a shitload of people has died and the story never reached anybody because everybody was focused on focused on Lindsay Lohan.
but when it comes down to a certain, when it comes down to little certain killings like killing a bunch of people in the theater, shooting up at a school, uh, murdering a teenager that only had a soda and a pack of candy, that's big news. Same as if Rob Deerdeck builds a fucking skate park, or Rihanna beating up Chris Brown, or Chris Brown beating up Rihanna. And it makes no sense that these people will have that many followers in a in a in a year's time. And I seen that, like I said, I seen this shit with my own eyes, man. My friend Sadistic showed me a Tumblr page where a shitload of people was on this page, and it was dedicated to James Holmes. And these people, people, was calling themselves homies. And that's how it is. And I question it. It's like, why is these people f making a page and being such supporters of a man that shot and killed half the people that was in those theaters and injured another, and innocent, injuring some of the other people and some of the people that survived? What? Why? I mean, like, for real, it makes you question why. Like, there was a lot of people supporting Casey Anthony. Casey Anthony it's just a big story if some, if a mother kills a child the big news a little girl getting hit by a cop car and a con a little girl getting killed by the car by get I mean when Casey Anthony killed her when that story breaks when, about Casey Anthony killing her child a little girl a little 12 year old girl gets hit and killed by a cop in his cop car but nobody else knew in the world that that happened because everybody was focused on Casey Anthony it is those type of killings that people love Rob Deerday can have 15,000 well Rob Deerday can have 100 guns up in his house and probably 20 guns in his fucking car But, like I'm saying is, why support these people? Rob Deerdeck doesn't give a fuck about you. Kim Kardashian doesn't give a fuck about you. Lady Gaga doesn't give a fuck about you. Rihanna doesn't give a fuck about you. And Chris Brown doesn't give a fuck you. Because you know why? Because now they care about is your money. Same with uh, these killers. They didn't never think about you. They thought about killing you, but not thinking about you. How many ways can a murderer kill someone? Many different ways. It's up to them on what their imagination is all about. But, and it's still shocking to see that more and more people rather support a person that molests kids, rape kids, kill kids, kill adults, uh, do that whole bomb threat bullshit than anything else in the world. And that's and that's more fucked up, and that's in the United States. They th people thought about people if and, and that's how it is. That people always thought other people in other countries was terrorists. Other they for real they other, people that lives in the U.S. thinks that other countries are terrorists, but if you look at straight at home. The terrorists is in the United States. It's called Americans. Americans are the terrorists. Because if you look at it every day out in the real world, you see kids getting killed every damn day. Scams are going on in the U.S. every fucking day. And they call people from other countries terrorists. How do you call somebody that's from another country that did not have nothing to do with 9-11 how do they get called terrorists but you got people ki killing each other out in the street you got kids selling dope out the streets you got it's the question What is, that is the question how why 
Like I said, why do these people get so many support? And it just, I just don't get these people. Why support? Oh, uh, man, this is just some shit I just don't understand with people. I know I'm going to get a lot of people saying, you're a dumbass. This is how you this is how I can, you can tell. I'm for real. Listen closely. Never repeat this part again. This is how people know I'm telling the truth. Let me repeat that. This is how I know I'm telling the truth because what people leave in the comments. When they call me, when they say shut up or shut up nigger or you're stupid or you lacking intelligence or you need to stop doing videos. All oh, the narrator sounds high. Or people say, "Are you serious?" Shit like that. That's how you can tell that I'm telling the truth because you know when people leave comments like that, they know you're telling the truth, and they fucking butt hurt about it. They just want to be. They just don't want the truth to be out there because they know they're supporting these motherfuckers so they support grown ass men molesting kids they support uh, that Adam Linza Linza shooting 20 kids killing 6 adults so they're down for that kind of shit it's, cause if that was if they had enough common sense in the fucking world if they had much if they had intelligence in that fucking brain of theirs they will fucking wake up and realize, man, that they are jack shit. Celebrities are jack shit. Except for the ones with common sense. Now, this is what I want y'all to do because I got a video that I lit did. It says, Five Entertainers Tell the Truth. Look it up on my channel, on my CeeLo Jr. 2 and my CeeLo Jr. 3. You'll probably see a picture of, of Jesse Ventura and the, and the thumbnail, but... I talk about five celebrities that tells the truth. Jesse Ventura, Dick Gregory, Paul Moody, Eddie Griffin, and Christopher fucking Titus. And if somebody will uh let Tommy say Cat uh Cat Williams, I say, you know what, Cat Williams does tell the truth. Look up his stand up act too. And George Carlin. Carlin. And it's true. Some of these celebrities are sitting down, they might be telling jokes, but they really are putting that putting out the information out there. You look at Dave Chappelle. Even he did. Now when you get celebrities like this saying, telling the truth about what's really going on, it shows you. It shows you that people are so small minded because they won't believe what they say. But they will believe anything. Rihanna, Chris Brown, Kim Kardashian, Lady Gaga, or Rob Deerdeck. They'd rather believe their lies than believe the real people who's telling the truth. And if you're a hater and you're going to write those fucked up comments, you are the ones that are butthurts. And, watch, and, and I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it twice. Watch them out themselves. Let me say it again. Watch the haters out themselves. Because I'm telling the truth. If you don't like what I got to say, let me say it again. If you don't like what I got to say, you don't have to watch my videos. It's pointless that you sit up here, watch my videos, and leave negative comments telling me to shut the fuck up, calling me a nigger, or whatever, or saying I need to stop doing videos. Because y'all have the choice to watch my shit or watch something else y'all have a choice this is America people have choices in this fucking country but it seems like they don't want the choices it seems like they don't want to have choices people wants to have people wants to get, get what they given to so that means they rather let let the government get like if the government says you can only have one car or one pet you gonna take it or whatever or oh, the bad example sorry bad example it just people don't want to have choices people don't want choices nowadays people say oh I got a choice to make I got a choice to make but you never make them people never make choices people never do 
these people had choices to make in their lives had choices to make in their lives but they never chose the right one and look at where they're at uh, you can sit up and say oh look at Celeste oh, look at look at Chris Barriana and King got in and they got got not him they got money yeah they got our money dumbass our money that we earn our money that nine to five fucking money you paying them to be your damn show, nigga. Not like I said, not to be racist towards people, but that's how it is. You pay them to be your dancing monkey on that stage. But to sit there and support people that kill kids and molest them, who is much sick than the person doing it? I never understood why people would do that. I never figured out why would anybody fall for that bullshit. <clears throat> and that's how I question. Like I said, I might do the video response of the five entertainers in this to this video because people need to watch that video because one thing is, this is the fucking truth, man this is the fucking truth because you cannot sit there and say it's not because of what you believe in the tabloids or what you believe in the tabloids the paid newspaper or the internet because that shit that could be told so many different ways they could be told in so many different ways and y'all will, will believe it and that's how it is. And that's how these people are too damn stupid to realize, man. People too, like they really don't want to wake up and smell the roses, smell the coffee. They they give in to the hype so easily and quickly. Oh, look what, look what, look what Kim Kardashian wears. She got a new fragrance. You giving it to the fucking hype, man. And how much they shit cost a good over the uh, $300, $500? Hey, y'all want to buy that shit? I went to Walmart one day. I was going shopping with my nieces. They was buying their cousin a, something for a birthday. Right? I said, okay, I'm going to go off in the toy section and see what's up. Don't you know, I seen Rob Deerdeck's bullshit out. I seen his bullshit out. And I picked it up and I looked at the price. And the price said forty-five damn dollars for a damn toy. I'm sitting there questioning. I say, why does a toy cost forty-five dollars? Why does an action figure cost forty-five dollars? But a fucking Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, Green Lantern toy costs five five damn dollars. Five fucking damn dollars. But a Rob Deerdeck toy costs forty-five damn dollars. I couldn't understand this shit. He said, oh, that's making it. You can say, that, oh, he's making a profit. I never thought that a toy can be that fucking expensive. I could understand a Barbie because it went from a play, like Barbies went from a play toy to a fucking collection. I could understand Barbie. But when it comes down to a play toy that is just for playing with, it shouldn't be 45 fucking dollars. Just for one fucking action figure. Not for one. With the fucking skateboard. So like I said. Celebrities and killers. Killers. Rapists. Molesters. I'm talking about. The, when I say rape. Molesters. Child molesters. I mean I'm talking about. The fucking preachers that rape kids. I'm talking about the teachers that fuck kids. I'm talking about the next door neighbors that fuck kids. I'm talking the relatives that rapes kids. I'm talking about that. But it's like this dog. Y'all don't give a fuck. Y'all rather support them too. Y'all rather support this shit too. Because y'all the dumbest piece of shit on earth. All y'all, if, if y'all support fuckers like them, then I hope y'all choke to death. 
Because one thing is, y'all is not even worth it, man. Not even fucking worth living. Just a waste of fucking space. This has been Afro Joe, 10 like T.I. is again. 10 like T.I. is again. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Subscribe to my channel, Zillow Jr. 2, Zillow Jr. 3. Uh, follow me on uh, Tumblr. I'm, it's going to be in the description box. Like I said, man, wake up. Quit believing in the hype. Rob Deerdeck didn't really donate no fucking money. You can sit there and search for that shit on the internet, the tabloids, the newspaper, or the media. You're still believing in the bullshit. You're still giving into it. Because the media lies. So does the internet. They will have stories on there and it can be a fucking lie. And y'all will still believe it. The All that shit. The tabloids, the internet... The fucking media, all they can say the sky is green, the the they can say the sky is green, the grass is blue, and y'all motherfucker will still believe it, cause y'all dumb enough to do it. But like I said, man, I've been telling like a TIS in this video, people just need to wake the fuck up and stop supporting the wrong set of people, and that's how it is. Ain't no killer supposed to have no fucking fan base bigger than a celebrity. And that's how it is. And, and I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it. Peace, love, and find God, man. Find God. Shit. Peace out.